Yes, people, and welcome back to AJ Cars, and welcome back to another video. Now, you've seen the title already. We have bought another car in the form of a BMW E46 Drift car. For those of you wondering, no, I haven't sold the Golf and I'm not going to be selling the Golf anytime soon. There's still bits that I want to do on it, but I thought I needed another project. So I've wanted these for a while as well. So I thought I'm going to get it now while I can. And it's going to be a long-term project. We're going to be doing loads. It's going to have a full transformation, very similar to what we did on the Golf from the start to the finish, how it looks now. That is basically what we're going to be doing to this car. And it needs a lot of work. Let me show you so this is the car now i know it doesn't look like a fat lot right now but it's going to be changed so don't look at it now as the final product because this is not going to look like this for a while now the first thing you may notice is it doesn't have an indicator that's because this wing is absolutely mashed and that broke and it flew off on the bypass so we have ordered some of them they are going to be put on but as well the wing absolutely mashed the guy had actually rolled these arches so of course drift build needed the extra clearance so that wing is rolled and also this wing is rolled as well and it's completely ruined we're getting two new wings on this they're going to be painted i am going to keep the color oxford green this color is i'm going to keep the color for a while until i maybe wrap it later on but yeah two new wings to start off with the front bumper in all fairness isn't actually too bad it's pretty sound i could keep this however i don't really want to keep this style bumper i do want to go for the m3 maybe the m3 csl bumper that'll be later on but yeah front bumper isn't too bad could be cleaned up but yeah get rid of them fog lights as well i think change the black grills yeah look quite good also plenty of dents around this car near enough every panel is dented i think besides the roof and the bonnet so I'm going to get a dent man at work to sort them out for me and then maybe do some filler work at work just to get it cleaned up, make it look half decent around the bodywork because the bodywork is not my only concern. It's more the interior. We will get onto that as well. Like I said, most panels are dented. Of course, the wings are ruined. The door here is dented. This quarter here is dented. Slight rust as well. This rear bumper is ruined completely. There's a hole in it. The tailgate is dented as well this quarter there's rust down here there is dents on the side you might not be able to see it but there's one right there there's another one slightly lower down here this door is scratched and dented i mean look at the size of that scratch jesus but yeah it needs a lot of work but it will get there i promise you car also has a welded diff on it you know drift car has a welded diff which is a nice little party piece for me of course off the bat we are going to be changing a lot of things on this car like modifications as in cosmetics so we're not going to do a fat lot to the engine but it's going to be similar to the golf like i said there's going to be a lot of cosmetic stuff going on it's basically going to become a show car if i'd like to say that probably won't put it on bags just yet because you can ride these pretty low i've seen so it's going to be a lot of cosmetic stuff just making it look pretty but as i said we are going to have to be doing a lot to the interior as well as the exterior now if you look at the rear i have near enough a full interior in the back but you may have spotted it is stripped out this is what it looked like when i first bought the car i went and spoke to a guy and he literally had a full interior for this car seats everything for the rear besides the actual boot floor and the trims on the side so that won't be going in but the majority of it will be going in today in this video but first i think i need to clean this up we also have a few little party pieces in this car which is another reason why i bought it i'll run you through a few of them it may sound silly but one of the main reasons i bought this car was for the sunroof now i've never owned a sunroof i love the look of a sunroof and especially on these so that was one of the reasons why i bought this car because they're very hard to find with sunroofs like non m3 with a sunroof so yeah this is 
a really nice touch. Now, another reason why I bought this car was, which was more appealing as well, was the fact that it only had, I wonder if it's a load, 96,500 miles on it, which is extremely low. You struggle, especially around me. I don't know where it is around the rest of the world. However, where we are, which is England, West Midlands, you struggle to find one under 120,000 miles. So 96,000 is pretty good. We also have Hydro, <laughs> which is pretty fun. It is a drift car, so this guy did have Hydro in it. So I will be keeping this as well because this is so cool. Also, we have a big drift wheel. I don't know whether I'm going to keep this, to be fair. I need to buy the, buy the clock spring for the inside because it's obviously gone to fit the steering wheel. But yeah, drift wheel and Hydro full-blown drift car it also has this carbon trim all the way along down here as well it's cut that which is unfortunate but yeah carbon trim all the way around which apparently is an optional extra so this apparently is pretty expensive so i'm tempted to keep this or maybe wrap it alcantara or something like that but yeah i quite like this now i didn't want to buy just a standard 318 four cylinder two litre so I wanted a half decent engine, a car with a bit of poke, you know what I mean? So I bought the 2.5 323 CI. This is a coupe. This is an inline six, way better engine. Plus it's on pretty low miles. So I'm hoping this is a very good engine. Of course, we have camber top mounts on this because it is a drift car. We have a decent amount of camber on there. We also have... It's like a, it bolt, I don't even know what they're called. It bolts to the hub. It's like an extended bottom arm, I think it's called. So that also pushes it out a bit further. So I might take them off at some point, but I don't know. I'm going to keep them on for now. But yeah, adjustable top mounts. They are on coilovers. I'm not sure what coilovers they are, but I mean, it is pretty decked to the floor. I mean, it's, I struggle to get over speed bumps in this thing. The rear kind of hits, the exhaust hits. Yeah. I think the rear could go lower to be fair we also because <laughs> it bottoms out a lot on the floor because of how low it is it's actually cracked to the exhaust so i've got a blow in the exhaust about here so when you rev it it doesn't come out over here it comes out down here that will need to be sorted as well so yeah that is pretty much the roundup and the pitch of the 323 ci now what i'm gonna do you've seen the car i've been dying to do this I need to get it home and I need to give it a massive, massive clean interior needs sorted big time. Once I've cleaned the car, I'm going to start fitting up the new interior. Now, I haven't got any tools to me because I'm stupid and I left them at work. So I'm going to have to try and make do with what I've got. I've got near enough everything for the boot. I can't get the seat tabs, but the carpet in. However, we'll work around it. We'll try and get as much done as possible today. We also have a few more other bits. Whether I do them today or not, I'm not sure. They might be in the next video, but we have a few things going on this car already, which I'm pretty sure you will like. But first things first, let's get this back, get it cleaned and get the interior in. This is everything stripped out. I haven't got the front seats out yet because I haven't got any tools, but I'm going to get to cleaning this absolute state of a rear. Oh, I'm hoping to God that this hydro doesn't cause any problems fitting the interior because it runs down like this. No. I can only hope them back seats sitting properly, but we'll find out. clean i'm gonna do the front afterwards but this is all pretty clean now so what i'm gonna do there's one seat out oh, i'm gonna clean this up now and go on to the other side so this bit is clean get the seats out that's clean but look at the carpets these carpets are supposed to be cream oh my god i don't know if they're just too far gone i haven't got a wet back so i can't actually clean these properly however i might just end up getting black carpets to match the rest of it because i think they are too far gone they are woeful oh my god i, I wasn't going to boy with the whole cleaning of the interior but this is the vast majority of it actually looks half decent however 
there's stuff like this which I honestly have no idea how I'm getting off. I don't know what it is, it's the same on the other side up there as well. It's just, I don't even know, I think it's spilt something, it's just stained completely. They've probably got something at work that can get off, but that's staying like that for now. But the rest of it does look pretty nice. I think it's time to get the interior in. Let's go. problem i don't have any they bolt here any rear seat belts now i don't have any bolts like i said i didn't bring anything with me because i'm stupid but i'm using the mate's tools right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build as much as i can up but then order some belts and we will put the belts in eventually and have this full rear built up because i don't actually have any of this floor in and the side pieces up here or down here anyway so it's still a work in progress but what i'm going to do is i'm going to build as much up and then i'll eventually get them belts in i'll just get them on order as soon as i can so we now have the one side door card in and the upholstery here but of course we don't have the seat belts but i am just kind of jumping through this because it's taken me a while to figure this out there is a lot of stuff missing the guys obviously stripped everything out there is no plugs there is no bolts there is no brackets to hold anything in like this is loose this is loose so i'm gonna have to figure everything out and then i'll jump to bits showing you what's been put in what hasn't and then eventually when i get the time i'm gonna strip it back down panel by panel fitting new things in because there's a lot of brackets down here that haven't been put back in so it's going to be a long process but i'm gonna get it as good as i can today So this is what the interior looks like as it sits now. I do have this part, same on the other side there, down there, but I haven't got the tool to get the belt off at the minute. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'll get rid of that. Of course, we don't have belts at the minute. That's why there's holes. But yeah, that is the rear interior built up. We've got the rear pillars there, same there. The past shelf is actually black, but it's been discolored from the light. So it's now purple probably end up getting a new one I'm just so it looks okay rear seats are in center consoles built up carpets in now I've only got a few bits left I'll just jump in here I've got a few bits left to do all this has been cleaned so what I've got to do now is this piece here where it's just completely ruined same on the other side we have new ones of them they're gonna go in there's the pieces for the pillars and then I've got this piece here which is these pillars. Now, I'm gonna put them in, then I'm gonna do the seats, and then we should be finished. I hope I'm not boring you guys with so much stuff. I know it's difficult to, it's very hard to try and keep you occupied while I'm trying to build this, I'm trying to focus on getting all of this in, making it look half decent, but also trying to keep you entertained. I know it's very difficult, but if you have stayed this long, I appreciate it. We're almost at the end now, so I will be showing you the final product in about two minutes for you it's gonna be about half an hour for me but yeah <laughs> Turns out I can't change these just yet because they're 20 torques in there and I haven't got a 20 torques with me. So they will be changed another day. But yeah, that's unfortunate. So last thing to do now is get the front seats in and then we should be finished. I'm going to give it another quick clean because I've been walking around in here. I'm not walking, I've been crawling around, but my shoes are dirty because English weather's muddy and wet everywhere. So give it another quick clean and then we should have the final product. <laughs> So 
So people, in true English fashion, it started absolutely nailed down about five minutes before I finished, actually. Oh God, that's even worse, bro. Yeah, we are finished now. The interior is done. Of course, there is a few more bits that I need to do, but it is in and it looks so much better. It looks 10 times more comfortable in here. There is less noise as well. My God, the road noise I was getting from the rear is unbelievable. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So everything has been cleaned up in here. Of course, we've got the things there that I can't deal with. Front seats in, all the floors cleaned up, door cards cleaned. The rear seats are in. Rear panels are on, carpet's in as well, looks 10 times better. Now I apologise I couldn't get any of the other bits on that I wanted to do, that'll probably be in the next video, I don't know when that'll be, probably be next weekend, something like that, but then parts will be going on and of course I'm going to be ordering more parts for this car very soon, because I want to get going with this car, I don't want to hold off too long, so yeah, it should be coming along pretty quickly, but not too quickly because i want it for a prolonged period of time i want it to be right i don't want to rush anything so yeah we will leave it there guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video stay tuned for more videos like this and we'll see you guys in the next one